Connecting an external microphone to a MacBook isn't exactly a straightforward task, but it can be even more confusing when you want to use an XLR microphone. MacBooks don't have XLR ports, but you can successfully use XLR microphones on the MacBook with a few adapters. Here's how. These are two different XLR to 3.5mm adapter cables. One of them works, but the other one doesn't. The main difference is the 3.5mm plugs. The one on the left is a stereo plug, and the one on the right is a mono plug. The mono cable only has two metal sections on it. But first, in addition to the XLR cables, you'll need this StarTech TRRS adapter that allows microphone input into your MacBook. Your microphone won't work without it. This small cable has two female ports and a 3.5mm plug on the other end. The important thing to notice is that the plug has four metal sections on it. If yours only has three, then it's the wrong kind of adapter. Take the mono XLR adapter and plug it into the TRRS adapter port that has the microphone icon on it. This mono cable is the only cable that will work. The stereo adapter cable produces no audio, so we can toss that one aside. You'll also need to connect a set of headphones to the other port because I couldn't get audio into the Mac without it. Now connect the TRRS plug into the MacBook. Make sure the mic is connected too and here's what the setup looks like. For this test, I'm using Adobe Audition to record my audio. To show you this works, I'll tap on the mic. You can see the waveform registering the tapping sound in the window. It seems everything needs adapters to work these days and connecting a mic to a MacBook is no different. So if you want to use an XLR microphone with your MacBook, you'll need the mono 3.5mm to XLR cable and also the TRRS adapter cable. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos and product reviews.